we're back. Hey Greens, welcome back to another Disney Mini Brands unboxing and review. In the previous Disney unboxing of the Mini Brands, we did not have a good experience, such as derpy faces, bad paintwork, and of course, no special editions. However, I did also unbox Disney Shopkins Real Little Backpacks, and that was a whole different experience, except for the highlighter. You know what? We've had quite a bit of adventure with Disney. <laughs> However, does that stop me from unpacking more of these? And the answer is no. We're going to do it again. So for those of you who don't know, Mini Brands Disney is actually a miniature version of different Disney toys, whether they are from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, which I really don't care about Star Wars, but you do you. I do me, you do you. And in this set, you can get anything from figurines, props, and boxes of toys, which are just weird if you ask me. But despite the fact that we unboxed 10 in a previous video, well, 9 plus one of my shorts on my shorts channel, make sure you get there too, we got no special editions. So this is round two of unboxing nine more here and then one more on my shorts channel to see if we can get any kind of special edition. Because I kid you not, when I say I've spent hundreds of dollars on mini brands only to get maybe three special editions. I know they're supposed to be special, but there's a difference between special and really not throwing people a bone. Come on, mini brands, you could do better. Let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite cartoon, animation, or movie from any of these series. I'm gonna say I'm pretty obsessed with Moana at this time. I'm very basic. And for those of you new to this channel, if you like what you see and you like being threatened with sharp pointy things, click on all notifications while you subscribe. Hey you! Have you been finding yourself a little stressed and you find yourself zoning out into, into outer, outer space? space? Well, have no fear because Salty Crafter brought a special gift from space called oh, the Out of This World De-Stress Kit. Yes, this is my own fidget kit box. Inside, you will get an out of this world holographic salt shaker sticker, a sticker sheet with some of your favorite salty crafter poses, including saltiness intensifies, dishonor on you, dishonor on your cow, and some iconic figurines. You'll also be getting the salt shaker plush that many of you have been asking me to bring back. This mini plushie is also a squishy, but it's going to be really soft on your hands for those of us with chronic conditions. Staying with the out of this world theme, you will get two of my favorite fidget toys, which is the fidget cube, many different sides to keep you entertained, and the infinity cube, which is just so relaxing. And if you're interested to pick yours up, go to shopnerdycrafter.com or the link down below Below and get your own for $29.99. This is a limited edition kit, so be sure to be quick to grab your own. All right, so let's go ahead and move these. To the side. And let's go ahead and unbox these. Unpack, unravel. to see is first of all variety from what we got last time but also give me a dosh garn darn nabbit special edition oh gosh that was hard yes if we do get the shelves we're definitely not gonna look at them because you'll see what they look like later Ooh. okay so we're starting off with a star wars figurine we have our do our do <laughs> Or do you do well? Good to know. R2D2 is what I was trying to say. I love the fact that it comes in its own box. It's just kind of weird that there's all of this empty space. Usually they would make it a lot closer. Okay. The box looks pretty good. The details are really nice. The writing is really hard to see though. But I'm not going to complain too much because at least we get a box with an item on the inside. Oh, and here we have the stuff. We'll look at it later. The, the, the stuff. Wow, English. Ooh. Very nice today. Very, very English. I can, I can talky talky very well. The list of items. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Why are you not opening? Oh, okay. It's another shelf. We're not going to open it. Here's what they look like. So if you're interested, you can see them pre-built. And of course, if you're interested in watching the previous video, I will link it down below. We have... Oh no. Oh no. This is bringing back bad memories. I'm not gonna say much except Black Widow. Oh no. No. Let's go. And we get the horsey. Oh no, it's not horsey. It's Woody. I don't think we got Woody last time. We got the horse and we got the girl. I forget the names. But okay, here he is in the box. And as... Oh, Bo Peep. We did get Bo Peep. 
we did. And I like that in the previous video, many of you got a little annoyed that I called Forky Spoonie. But if you know, you know. Spoonie is a term for those of us with chronic conditions. So I, I kind of made a little shout out to us kind of thing. Get over it! But yeah, as you can see, he doesn't have a hat. It's just the image of the print of the hat in the back. But nonetheless, these are actually really cute boxes. Ooh, ooh! We have Cinderella, who interestingly enough looks like one of the stepsisters. For some odd reason, I don't know what's up with the paint job, but that does not look like Cinderella. She's obviously missing a little bit more of the colors of the eyes. She just kind of looks very upset at things. She doesn't have a lip. I mean, the paint job could definitely be way better. But again, we get a character in a box. So this is what she's supposed to look like, like I saw, with the pink lips, luscious eyelashes. And no earrings as well. I don't see any of the paint work. So yeah, that's our first time getting her. All right, let's get a refresher of all the items that we can get in this Disney mini brand. We have the ultra rares here that are gold. And then everything else is basically common. So we have Toy Story. We have some Marvel characters. We have some actual Disney characters like Minnie Mouse and Tinkerbell. I don't know why Baby Yoda is over here. Should have been with the Star Wars stuff. More Star Wars stuff, more characters. Why did they mix them up? That is just absolutely weird. And then we have the figurines in there. So we have, Cin I really want beasts. I really want beasts, fingers crossed. And then we have these little baggies and these are the only places where we have Jasmine, Mulan and Tiana show up. So that's about it. Now you and I know exactly what to expect. Only the gold ones are special edition. For the most part with mini brands a lot of the boxes just have the same things over and over uh-huh 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 i hear you tinkerbell how you doing jackie nope nope we're not having this conversation but why not because i just don't want to talk to you right now we got Tinkerbell. Yes, the box is absolutely adorable. These are actual collectible figurines that are really cute. The paint job's okay. It's not bad. Not the worst we've seen. Oh, what, what, what? No. And no, don't be Princess Leia, because Princess Leia be looking funny. Who did we get? Princess Leia! <laughs> Look at her! Look at that! That is probably one of the worst poses to have. But the paintwork on this one's not as bad as some of the other ones where she just looked like she had one continuous angry brow. We have too many of these ones. No! 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 <coughs> I don't want to see Black Widow all the time. No, we're not doing this today. We're not getting quintuple Black Widows. We are not doing that. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And again, I really love the fact that some of these look like they have points of articulation, but they don't really move. Some of these we might try to take out if needed, if we're, if we're really curious, but they don't really move. And the box still looks really cool. I love these. Oh, that was a terrible opening. <laughs> what are you? Ooh, a go- wait. And yes, Ermie Gerd! Finally, we have a special edition. Mind you, from my least favorite series in all of the Disney universes. But we got one nonetheless. Gold edition Storm Trooper. Very cool. Probably gonna give this to my brother. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I don't know. No. No. <laughs> No! No! I'm smiling because I, I don't want to cry. What a nightmare! No, come on, we're not doing this. I am in such disbelief right now. Alright, we don't need to spend more time on Black Widow. Too much of her at this point. We get... We have Anna from Frozen. This box is still really adorable. All the details are cute. The face can definitely use a good customization. But in the previous video, I said we needed to reach 40,000 likes. We reached about 30. So if you do want to see me actually customize and fix the faces on these characters, we're gonna have to give this a second try. This video has to hit 40,000 likes within the next 10 days. Otherwise, no go. And I, this feels like it could be a shelf. No, okay. This is one of the things I hate the most about the mini brands, is that sometimes they just make prints of boxes. 
There's no figurine, there's no character. At least what I'm happy is that it's not frequent in this Disney set. Just to show you the inside, it is empty with a little bit of cardboard so it doesn't collapse on itself. And it's just a replica of a box of a product. I'd rather just have the product as opposed to the box. But this does look like a pretty cool set. I'm pretty sure baby Jackie would have loved this. As a little grain, I liked all sets that had to do with just pretend things. Another lunchbox. And unlike the Shopkins Real Littles where everything can be opened, not for mini brands. That's the biggest difference. So if you do look here, so this one doesn't open, let's put a side by side. You'll see that in the previous video where I did the Shopkins Real Littles Disney edition, the boxes do open. I think that's, that's the biggest downside. And, oh, oh, we have one of those alien things. And we have the same hand position as we got last time, which is one up, one down. And it goes, eee. box is super fun, very quirky. Text is really hard to see. If this is Black Widow, I'm gonna go outside and lay down on the snow. Okay, it's not, but we did get another of the Mickey Mouse kitchen set, which again, is just a box. Eee. I'm glad at least... Oh, another Star Wars. Stop giving me Star Wars! So it is another Stormtrooper, except this time it's not a special edition, just the regular Stormtroopers. And this one doesn't have any of the uh, plastic front like some of the other ones. And here's the back of the box, which is impossible to read. Very tiny, very small. Oh, I like that. That's actually pretty cool. What the heck? Oh, there you go. Where's the... Why are tabs sometimes upside down? I don't like that. All the tabs must face the same direction. Buzz! We have Buzz Lightyear, which is really dark to see on the inside. Let me get a flashlight. Yeah, it's on. All right, so can can we see him? Maybe it's, oh, there you go. There we have him. We have Buzz Lightyear, and the box design makes it so that it's really dark and kind of hard to see. The paint job is questionable at best, but yeah. Otherwise, this is what it looks like. But I do like the actual layout of the box, not the fact that he's so deep inside. <laughs> That's what he... And it does look like a little rocket ship. We can see the effect at the bottom. What does it say here? It says Buzz Lightyear. And the back is so cool. I'm loving this one. Really cool, just not a fan of... You can't see him, but you can tell who he is. Dang it. <laughs> Come on, Tabs! We have Stitch. Super cute again, but the colors are a little off. And unlike some of the other figurines, this one actually gives you the accessories. Most of the other ones, they just draw the accessories, so it's kind of a print, but this one's actually real. We'll take it out at the end of the video, because I do have another one of these, so might as well unpack it. And a Minnie Mouse telephone. We had gotten quite a few of these ones, so as you can see, the phone, we have Minnie Mouse, and that's about it. Nothing really interesting about this one, but you could tell that the paint job is missing. It's supposed to be more red, and the bow is not even colored properly, because we're missing the polka dots in white, like I saw. And the handle is supposed to be a different color, but it's just all of it is just pink. surprised we didn't get as many oh no not princess leia again not princess leia oh no <laughs> princess leia what i was saying is i'm surprised we didn't get as many carts or baggies because in their other editions they were sending them all the time another spider-man yes this time we get a spider-man mask very nicely done cool box useless text here i feel like they're really just taking the same boxes and recreating them which is honestly pretty neat but it makes it so that small text is impossible maybe they can add something cool to it i don't know i definitely have ideas but i'm not gonna give them up for free <laughs> Okay, we have a Polaroid camera princess edition and this is nothing new We did get a few of these in the previous unboxing Voila, and these are definitely cute. I wonder if I can find a real one and just test it out Maybe it adds effects and filters and things that would be neat like a princess effect We get another Woody. Hello Woody. We do not need you twice. At least it's not Black Widow. Oh gosh Darth Vader. I don't know why I'm taking this voice. I'm sorry we have a Darth Vader, definitely terrible paintwork across the entire character. Needs some work to be done. Cool box, nonetheless. He gets a golden Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper, come over here. Yes, my lord. My lord. <laughs> you must take down Princess Leia. Yes, my lord. Next scene. I must find Princess Leia. Huzzah! Kapow! 
Thank you, thank you. I am here every day for your pleasure, twice a week actually, not for, for your pleasure. Ooh, ooh, what kind of relationship do we have? <laughs> What? Okay, another Tinkerbell over here. I probably have six of these by now. Something like that. Still nothing to compare with. You think by now, after getting her so many times, I would remember. Black Widow. <laughs> no! Is she the new Black Willow? Widow. Wid Widow. Did I say Willow? I don't remember. Here we have a bit of an angrier version. It's basically the same toy. It's just the paint job is absolutely terrible. We're going to do a count at the end. Oh, we get another of these little Grogu cups. We have protect, attack, snack. It's still cute. It's only the second one I've gotten in the last two videos, so I'm okay with that. Don't make it happen again, though. <laughs> now, we have Flynn. And similarly to the previous ones we got, the paint job is atrocious. Absolutely terrible. In the previous video, it looked like the goatee wanted to leave his face. Bye-bye! Adieu! I'm out of here! So, yeah, I mean, I really would like to see the other characters. Like, I really, really, really want Beast. By the way, this is from Rapunzel, for those of you who are not familiar. Ugh, these tabs all over the place. And another Buzz Lightyear with ominous... Ominum... Ominum... Ominous! <laughs> ominous! Which sounds like this. This one has been packed in a funny way because, let me show you, there's quite the bulge over here. I'm not sure if it was done on purpose or if it's just happy to see me. Either way, it's an interesting way to pack it up. Got some good package. I mean, we did get a special edition, but I'm really curious if we're going to be able to at least get a baggie or beast or something like that. Alright, she's definitely back with a vengeance. Not looking good, Grains. Not looking good. Ooh, we didn't get her yet. We have a Snow White from the Animators Collection. This is a first. Very cute. I love the fact that they're like baby edition and the boxes are super adorable. Her face could use, again, better painting, but overall one of the cuter boxes and cuter characters that we got, especially that her lips are actually painted in. Impressive. I mean, we did get a special edition, but I'm really curious if we're going to be able to at least get a baggie or beast or something like that. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Spoonie! You gonna fight me? Because I said it wrong? What you gonna do about it, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, 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 I'm avoiding your punch. Oh, you can't punch me. <laughs> we have Forky, absolutely adorable. Wait, is he full? Is he the full character? Yeah. It's funny because there's a hole on top and you would think there's enough light to shine through but for some reason it's pretty dark and there's holes on the side too. But yeah, it is the full character. Very nicely done. Actually properly painted. I guess it would be weird if you didn't paint a simple character. And the back of the box looks really adorable. This is probably one of my favorite boxes. It's just so playful and colorful. Oh no. We have another Woody fitting that we get Woody in the packaging with the bulge. Get it, the Woody with the... Get out of here. Never mind. Oh no, Star Wars box. We already got this box. It's a box that looks like there's toys, but it's just a print. So it's not even a transparent. We got this one before. It's an empty box with just cardboard on the inside, like so. See? So it's really nothing that special. Well, oops. <laughs> so I guess this one kind of wants to be opened first. What have you called me? Do you have something special edition for me? <gasps> yes! Not what I would have liked, but what the shrimp? I have goosebumps right now. Two special editions and one opening? That... Okay, okay. We have a special edition Lightning McQueen in gold color. This one is phenomenal. Again, never watched cars, not a fan of car things. But yeah, here it is, and it is a gold edition. That is weird. Two golds in one video. I guess it makes up for the last 10 videos. 
but I'm appreciative nonetheless. <laughs> and another one of the ooze. Again, one hand up, one hand down. We still haven't gotten any of the other ones. I'm not sure if they actually make them for here. Probably not. Oh no, the horsey. It's okay, it's the first one in here and... Oh, it's actually blocked. If you're curious what he looks like, here's from the previous unboxing. You'll see what it looks like when we peek through the top. Why is he so stiff? You okay, buddy? Who do we have here? Another Spider-Man. Another Spider-Man. You are. Oh. Who's this supposed to be? Aurora. Oh, from the old school Disney. She just looks suspicious. That's all I have to say. She just looks very suspicious. Like she's looking to the side. And like, mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. I know something you do not because I am princess. <laughs> yeah, this does not look like her at all. What is she supposed to look like? Look at this. This is what she's supposed to look like. Whereas over here, she looks like she could take me down in a fight. She looks tough, not dainty like the, the actual illustration. <laughs> I'm so tempted to fix these or send them to Jazza because he does amazing miniature paintwork. If you're not familiar, he has his other channel, Tabletop Time, and they make amazing miniature paintings. And we are down to our last mini brands Disney edition. And remember, the 10th one is going to be on my shorts channel. So if you're into shorts, check out Nerdy Crafter Shorts. Basically, short clips of like under a minute. So because this is our last one, you know what we have to do? Put our hands together and pray to the mini brand gods. Dear mini brand gods of Evermore, please protect me from Princess Leia, Black Widow, and more doubles, triples, quadruplets. But also, just give me the beast. And as per tradition, since this is our last one, we're going to open it real time. Oh, that one actually went all the way through. Huh, this is the smoothest opening I've had for the entire video and you didn't have to watch me struggle. And this one is always usually pretty good. And yes, I love it. I have to say that in this set of the mini brands, this cork, oh. Yeah, it's really hard to remove. As per demonstrated. Goodness. They're really stuck in there. All right, since you came off. Oh, everything's falling apart. Why are you falling apart? Why? This is scary. <laughs> so let's start with the first one that came apart. And oh no. We have Rapunzel with the suspicious face. She definitely looks like she could be related to Salty Crafter. No offense to you, Salty Crafter, we good? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, we good? Okay, we good. And she is supposed to look like this, but for some reason they just made her eyes like that. And of course they never color in the lips for some reason. Come on, beast, please. Nope, another Tinkerbell. All right, Tinkerbell, goodbye. Beast, no. I just prayed not for you, the Evermore Gods. Oh, come on, come on. Give me something new. Give me... <coughs> wow. Okay, I got a little excited here. Wow. Did you see this? Holy carp. Beast. Oh, why does he look suspicious? He's like <coughs> looking to the side. But we got Beast. Oh my god! Yeah, his colors are definitely off because he's supposed to be a lot more pale but here he's a bit more of a closer to dark chocolate and here it's a little bit more milk chocolate and caramel-esque. But I can't believe we got him! On the last opening nonetheless, it's like everything I asked for today in the intro, we got it. But yeah, it definitely needs a lot of work. We can't even see his fangs, his nose is not colored in, he looks like he's a raccoon for some reason. Oh, that's cute that he's holding Belle's books. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm gonna probably color him off the screen. <laughs> and who's our last one? And we have a Captain America shield. We did have this one in the previous video, but we got Beast. Happy. Not happy we didn't get any baggies, but you can't, you can't want everything, right? You can't have your cake and eat it. I don't understand that expression. What are you supposed to do with your cake if you can't have your cake and eat it too? What? Who made that expression? If I buy cake, it's not to look at it, it's to eat it. Let's not forget we have our little buddy over here. We're gonna unbox. I feel like I'm gonna just need my exacto just to be a little more precise. Like so. Not hurt myself. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. I could just do this. There you go. And the packaging. Oh my goodness. Hello? Oh, oh, that is neat. I love this. The fact that it had a backing is really cool. 
we have the little surfboard and then we have stitch oh my god so cute so tiny with the little surfboard oh my god i love them and so here is everything that we got let me know which one is your favorite from this entire collection i'm gonna have to say not princess leia and not black widow and probably not tinkerbell either i'm quite happy with beast and forky Sp i mean spoonie spoonie if you want to watch the previous unboxing of disney mini brands make sure you check up here and if you want to watch fidget toys Make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.